Most people use Flores as just a jumping off point to explore Tikal, an incredible ancient city in Guatemala. They will fly in and then catch a bus over to the site. And if they do take the time to see Flores, they just stay on the island. Flores is the capital of Petén, which is the largest apartment in Guatemala. It was on that island that the Maya established Nopetén, their final stronghold in the face of the Spanish conquest. The island sits on Lake Petenitza, which is a beautiful and rippling lake. The buildings there are some of the most colorful we have ever seen. These island vibes are right down our alley. We agree that Flores Island is a can't miss. So we will show you around for sure. But we will spend most of our time seeing what exists on the mainland. The town of Santa Elena is located on the shores of Lake Petenitza and it is connected by a causeway to the island. San Benito is next to Santa Elena and we will see what that has to offer as well. We will give you our first impressions of the area as we try local food on the waterfront of the causeway, wander through the Santa Elena market, and search for the best place in San Benito to see the island of Flores from afar. Come with us as we look for the hidden gems of Flores. We're on the ground exploring the island of Flores and when we were looking for a place to stay, there seemed to be plenty of hostel options here on the island in a couple of hotels. But we got a hotel that was a little bit off of the island and it was what, like a 15 minute walk? 15 minute walk and that's all the way to like the end of the island. Just to get to the front of the island would have been like five or six minutes. Yeah, so there is that causeway, that bridge, but uh, it's not a very daunting task to walk over. Uh, there's some food vendors out there. Uh, look like they might have been selling some walking tacos. I think we saw like a buffet or something like that. Um, so not too bad. And then the hotel that we are staying at has a really nice pool, um, really great customer service, and um, actually pretty good Wi-Fi, you know, to upload videos. And I think it's looking anywhere between seven and nine uh, megabytes per second. This dog doesn't want to hear about my Wi-Fi. But yeah, once you're here, just look at these buildings though. Like tons of pastel, beautiful colors. There's tuk-tuks or tuk tuks if you feel like. So plenty of ways to get around. And sometimes the lake does over flood and there is a way for the cars to get past it. So it's not that big of a deal if the lake floods a little bit. But yeah, if you come down one of these alleys to this side, you can see the, the lakes overrun a little bit here, but there was motorcycles who were able to maneuver past it. So not a huge deal. There's still enough dry land. So don't worry about that. Even if you rent a bike or something like that. Also with our hotel, I don't think we had any problems, right? Good internet, uh, good pool. Uh, I think they used to have a restaurant, but they didn't, but there's plenty of restaurants to eat at. And there's definitely plenty of restaurants to eat at here on the island. We're making YouTube videos, so we can't have a bunch of popular music, but we were able to peek in a little bit, see the menu, see the view. Um, there's lots of cafes too. So if you're coffee addicts like we are, you'll have plenty of options. And on a hot day like this today, there's definitely cold options, like iced coffees and stuff too, which is good. And as far as the actual island and the buildings, I love it. It is so colorful, it feels very chill. It actually reminds me of one of our favorite places in the whole world, Key West, Florida. Yeah, one of the very first videos we put out because we know that that's a place that is amazing and we love to explore it. Absolutely. A little cobblestone road you want to go up this little hill yeah oh let's let these guys go by first so we have our boots on so hopefully we can survive this uh cobblestone road as we're going uphill a little bit so yeah plenty of things here uh to do on the island plenty of things to to see we're going towards an area that's supposed to have a really nice church and a basketball court so it should just be at the top of this cobblestone road here And there are plenty of flags up because we are here during the month of Independence Day. And if you haven't seen our Independence Day video, make sure to go check it out. We're at the cathedral in the center of the island. So we can see the view of the water in front of us. Well, behind the buildings. <laughs> oh yeah, behind the buildings, I guess. You can see through the buildings. You can see through the buildings? You yeah, observation? sometimes. <laughs> I have a statue here. 
kind of stone. Yeah. Something is uh, taken off on the billboard up there. Yeah. So I don't know if that's where they explain what this one is, but that's cool. And on their government building. Look. Yeah, the 201 years. Got this nice basketball court here. Heck of a view behind you if you're playing some basketball. There's a lot of little vendors up here. So you can get over here on this side, you have uh, tortas, tacos, quesadillas, um, fresh juices. We've shown you the main parts of the island and we're definitely going to be back for golden hour and sunset, but we haven't seen any other videos or blogs about the mainland part here in Flores. So we're going to explore that and then we'll return later on for golden hour. As we mentioned when we were walking around, there is a, a food area there with a what looked like a buffet and they had tons of options. So we have this one right here with some salsa. Did she say it's picante? No. Okay, and then some uh, avocado or guacamole on top of it. It's a nice vegetarian option. There's potatoes on the inside. Really nice crunch. Sauce is good, not too spicy, and always good to have some guacamole. These we had back in the city and we've been looking for them every trip and everywhere we've gone to since then. These are rayanitos. From a distance, it kind of looks like a meatball, but this is a plantain dessert with black beans in the middle and sugar on top of it. Yeah, and these are really good. Okay, we're at a little random shop off one of the side roads and they have chocolate covered bananas as well as chocolate covered fruits and some other stuff, but I've been on the hunt for these for a while because I saw them a long time ago and I've been craving them. So let's get some. We are at La Casa del Choco Banano, which just means the house of chocolate banana. Look at that. So I got one that is covered in peanuts and Will has one that's covered in chocolate sprinkles. And she didn't say Japones, she said Mani, right? Mani, yeah, yeah, yeah. Japones is like the thicker ones with the shell already on it. But yeah, and these are two quetzales each. Exactly what I've been craving. We walked down this road, but we were focused on uh, these fancy evening gowns and we missed this market that we were looking for. Now we're gonna try to survive crossing the street and get into this market. Probably go behind this one. All right, well, here we are. All right, he's creating a roadblock for us. Good job. All right, we did it. Did it. All right. When it started. So our goal in this market is to find a low-priced backpack that we can use instead of using a reusable shopping bag for our flight back. And it has to be small. I don't remember the exact measurements, but smaller than what our second backpack is because that one wasn't going to work, which is why we used a reusable bag in the first place. <laughs> so. so let's see if we can find that and maybe a nice surprise something while here in the market. Hello. 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 <laughs> Using her shoe as a phone. Very innovative. Buenas tardes. And uh, this is also the mark. Well, this is also the market that our bus drove through, right? Yeah. So we actually should probably be looking at where we're going because we don't know if a motorcycle, car, or a bus will be coming around the corner. There's a dog? Yeah. Dog's okay. Perro wow. El perro wow. wow. When is that? Look! A whole shop full of backpacks. Perfect. 125. Okay. one. Do his Monster Energy drink one for 40. Is that Oh, no, no, no. 40. Ah, 90, no, 40. No, 40. What's eating there? Tostitos? Mm -hmm. They're good? Okay. Right. Buen provecho, mi amigo. 
Oh, there's some tuk tuks. Huh? Motorcycle. Another tuk tuk. So you just didn't like that one because of the bright colors? Yeah, so the colors were kind of bright on that. It was like what blue <laughs> with like a bright orange. Yeah. I'm never usually a fan of orange. So maybe if we can just get a basic black backpack for 40 quetzales, around five dollars, and then it would be good. I have no idea how we passed the market this huge, but it was like a hidden market. All right, here's some backpacks. Oh, okay, gracias. He has all this specialty backpacks. Nothing too simple. We found nothing on the outskirts. So now we're heading deep into the market. <laughs> Ducking under peach towels. Yeah. Oh, look. We got some more bags. If you don't get a concussion, you can find some nice bags. Like how big does it need to be, right? Like That's this way big? Too big? So something small like that one in the right, top right. Jean jacket one? No, the one next to it. All right, well, this one is 40. Similar to the other one, except it just has the fox now in the lime green. No, it's muy... muy Los colores son mucho. Oh, muy fuerte. <laughs> muy fuerte. Muy fuerte. Sí, sí, sí. How much is this Che Guevara bag? I think I really have to support the Kobe brand. I don't think I can get a Jordan backpack. It does look the same size. I think it's just because it's black. You think it looks smaller, it's slimmer. Black is always slimming. Yeah. I can just wear the backpack. Yeah. These are the same style. So it's all the same style for 40. Does this one look bigger? Looks about the size of the last ones. Yeah. That's a cool looking bag. Is that bigger? It looks the same. Maybe not. Oh wait, I can I can measure stuff with the iPhone. <laughs> well, we don't know what our baseline is. I have it written on. I you, have all you the wrote notes. down the other size of the other bag. No, but I have the notes of what, what size we need. Oh okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah. And at least it's all black. Okay. And what's the price on that? Cuánto es? 40. Yeah, right. 40. We can do that. Okay. Sold. Got a bag. Here we have a iced vanilla creamy bubbly latte without the coffee. We stopped in at a coffee shop to get coffee and it was under the latte section, so I assumed there was coffee. I was wrong, but it still sounds really interesting because it's made with bubbly mineral gas wa water. So let's have a taste. It tastes like a cream soda. Here's our espresso shot. <laughs> and we got Gracias. a side of espresso. Gracias. Yeah, we got espresso on the side because we needed the coffee. Um, I think she said I could just add it to it. I'm going to ask her if I should add it. I don't think that I don't think you should then. Alright. She does not recommend putting the espresso in the cup in this <laughs> bubbly drink. Once I tasted it, I said I don't really think that uh, that would go too well. Mixed in with an espresso shot. No, it tastes really good. Yeah, it tastes like a cream soda. It right? tastes like a cream yeah. soda. Let's Sounds not mess good. that up with uh, espresso. I must. Are you sure? <laughs> Gracias. No, no, azúcar está bien. Gracias. All right, that's uh, gonna be a little bit easier to drink out of. Yeah. Than a little <laughs> tiny pitcher. Yeah. Hopefully this doesn't taste awful back to back. No, not at all. And that's probably the reason they don't mix it together. But yeah, it's good. San Benito portion of Flores and before we head to the peninsula area to see the restaurants and the view of the lake from there we stopped by this park and there's a basketball court there's a place to do 
free calisthenics and we're walking towards the water here there's like a really cool looking pier so that's gonna be awesome mm -hmm. Here's a whole separate area to work out, like a playground. There's an amphitheater kind of situation here with plenty of seats, a nice stage. Some outdoor dining area, some benches. I don't know why we've never seen this part of Flores. This is beautiful. And then you can see wow. the Flores Island from here. Look at this, guys. Yeah, that is a great view. You can see like all the colorful buildings, and right now the sun is starting to set. Unfortunately, it's really cloudy, but look at the coloring over the main part of the island. That's stunning. And then that church that we hiked up to with the two domes in it, and it looks nice up close, but it looks even more impressive on top of the whole island area. And if you, there's a restaurant here if you're over there. There's uh, this boat here. So I'm imagining even if you're over here, you could take a boat to the island. There's boats everywhere. Wow, look at that bird. What is yeah, it? Yeah, I have no idea what that is. It's I've so never pretty. seen anything like that. Just amazing nature here. The lily pads. We've walked to the furthest side of the peninsula in Benito, and it started to rain, but that's all right because we found this sunset bar with two floors on it. So we're on the second floor. We got a couple of gallos, the best local beer that they have here. So this place is called the Sunset Bar and Restaurant, and they're definitely not lying. That's gonna be a heck of a sunset. While the original plans for sunset were foiled by the rain, we still enjoyed ending our day drinking Guatemalan beer and watching the clouds roll in over the water. This area was peaceful and tranquil. When you visit Flores, take the time to appreciate the colorful island life, but we also encourage you to venture off the island and explore these hidden gems on the mainland. You'll be glad you did. Thank you for watching this video. This is Weighty Travels. What could possibly be next?